it is my incredible and deeply personal honor to bestow the very first Jefferson Award presented to an individual who has made a profound impact on the broader New York community, to Edie Lutnick. <laughs> Scooter's right, that's amazing music. <laughs> oh, Austin. You know, um, I knew that this was going to be an extraordinary night. And I suspected that the speakers would be outstanding and inspirational. But kudos, man, to all of you. Hillary asked me to think about why. She said, what's your why? Kenneth Fitzgerald had 960 employees. On September the 10th, we lost 658. In 9-11, we had the largest loss of life. Those 658 families left behind 953 children, each who had lost a minimum of one parent. Austin is my why. Everyone like him at Kenneth Fitzgerald is my why. I thought about the term family when Hillary asked me my why. Because my family is here tonight. My sister-in-law, Allison, my nephew, Kyle, Kyle, as most of you have heard the story, saved my brother Howard's life by being five years old and being taken to kindergarten. Kyle, one of our children, is now a graduate of Stanford. And he, <laughs> and he interned this summer for Scooter. <laughs> this is a very small world. I am so grateful to be here tonight. The Cantor Fitzgerald Relief Fund started in order to try to take care of the families of our 658 and 61 families from Eurobrokers. And what was important to us, my brother Howard, who's the chairman of Cantor Fitzgerald, was to rebuild the company so that they would have financial assistance. And to me, it was to rebuild them as human beings so that they would be able to move forward and take care of their families. But in addition to that, what was so important to us was legacy. How could we assist our families? And this has a lot to do with multiplying good. How could we assist our families in creating a legacy for those that they loved so that their goodness would move forward in the world even though they could no longer be with us? And we gave each one of our families $1,500 in order to be able to memorialize their loved one any way that they saw fit. And I am proud to say that there are over 500 charities that have come out of the Canner families, not to support me or the 9-11 families, but to take care of all of you and the issues and the things that matter to you. And so when our families became more stable, we decided what else could we do to help them, and we created Charity Day. And what Charity Day is, is on September 11th, or the first work day thereafter, 100% of the revenues, not the profits, the revenues, at Cantor Fitzgerald, BGC Partners, GFI, Newmark, all go to about 150 charities around the world that are important to our employees, our clients, and the celebrity ambassadors, Mariska, Scooter, Hillary, who come in and make it an uplifting day for all of our employees who are giving up their commissions and their salaries that day so that we can do good and multiply good in the world.
When Superstorm Sandy hit our community, we had already been helping with other tragedies, with the tsunami, with Katrina. But when Sandy hit, it was personal. It was personal to New York, to New Jersey, to Connecticut. And we said we had to do something. And my sister-in-law, Allison, who is the director of disaster operations for the Relief Fund, my brother Howard and myself said, how can we help? And we decided what we could do is we could take the lessons that we'd learned from 9-11 and we could apply them in a way that was meaningful. And so what we did was we decided that when you are a mother or a father and you have young children, it is a great joy, but it's also an added responsibility. And so we were going to take disadvantaged families who had been hard hit by these hurricanes and we, who had young children, and we were going to give each family $1,000, no questions asked. All they had to do was affirm that they had, in fact, been hit by this hurricane. And we would do what's so important for charities to do, which is we worked with government, we worked with the school districts, we worked with the communities to make sure that we were getting the people who had, in fact, been hardest hit. And we, for Hurricane Sandy, gave $10 million, $1,000 a piece to 10,000 families. And when that worked, and we taught people that we had no connection with, really. They didn't know us. They didn't know we were coming. They didn't know why we were there. What we gave them was hope. Because the strongest thing that you can give to somebody who's been impacted is hope. To let them know that they are not alone in this world and they are not forgotten. And there are people who care about them. And so when that worked for Sandy, we turned around and said, let's do it again. And so we did it for Harvey. And then we did it for Maria. And we just got back from Puerto Rico, and I have a table back here, all made up, nothing but volunteers, who came with Allison and I and Kyle to Puerto Rico in order to be able to assist 4,000 families. The Cantor Fitzgerald Relief Fund is one of the best kept secrets of a charity that's given over about $350 million you're ever going to meet. We're pretty quiet about it. But we do what we can do to multiply good. And I am so honored to be here tonight. And I am so thankful and so grateful for all of the people who, like Austin, who lost his dad and yet worked for Cantor Fitzgerald like over 40 other kids. Think about that for a second. Forty children whose parents were killed while at work at Canner decided that they wanted to come back to work there. That's extraordinary. They are extraordinary. When you find a passion, when you find a mission larger than yourself, when you turn around and you connect with others in order to be able to do good in the world, when you multiply what it is that you do, when you multiply that good, you change the world. Thank you so very, very much.